Well, welcome back, everybody. Or maybe it's the first time you're seeing it. Uh, with my friend Esteban, we'll take another flight. We're flying back for a little uh, meal up in New England. Time to exercise the plane. Show Esteban on the plane. And uh, continue a little flying practice, which is very important. Got to stay current. So we filed IFR. And uh, we'll be picking that up shortly. Start our test. We're doing a battery start. This is probably an old military strip. Judging by the runway lanes, there's lots of these around the country. And they're good. Here we've got tower. Just want to check that other frequency. 27.9er, that's standing by. Squawking, squawk code. I usually like to check these things off. Just oh, set the brake. Come on, brake. All right, we got 2000, initial altitude. Got the frequency. Squawk 7352. That is in there. Gonna take off runway 23 this way. Climb up to 2000. They're gonna give us radar vectors to that place, Sandy Point. Uh, we'll tell them we're ready. The bed for tower, Honda Jet 430 Delta Charlie, now ready for takeoff on 23. 430 Delta Charlie, fly runway heading, runway 23, clear for takeoff. Runway heading 23, clear for takeoff, zero Delta Charlie, thank you. Okay, as soon as you release the parking brake, the lights come on. It's a nice feature. A lot of things you don't have to do on this plane, they're done for you. But even on much more expensive sensibly very sophisticated jets are manual operations. Uh, 760 Bravo Whiskey, two miles. 760 Bravo Whiskey, Roger. Continue and uh, just keep it square to final. Continue square to final, 760 Bravo Got someone coming in. They did clear us for takeoff. Nice long runway, but well, relatively long. Straighten out the wheel, hold here. Yeah, somebody right in front of us, huh? He's coming the other way. Yeah, don't worry about it. We're good. He's not on the runway. He's, a, he's over to your right. 760 he's... Bravo Whiskey, uh, wind is calm. Runway 14, you're clear to land. 14, right. clear to land. 760 Bravo. Line is good. Okay, there's V1, there's rotation speed, and we're rotating two good engines. And MCT on the power. Laps are coming up. Okay. Gear is up. Climbing nicely. Both. Honda Jet 430, Dow Charlie, contact departure. Have a good flight. Over to departure. Zero is up to Charlie. Thank you. Here's the autopilot. Speed up. Okay, I'm going to pull some power here. To departure. Number 95419, Providence Approach. Okay, coming into 2000. Providence Honda Jet 430, Delta Charlie, 2000 feet. Number 430, Delta Charlie, Providence Approach, radar contact, climb and maintain 10,000. Climb and maintain 10,000, zero Delta Charlie, thank you. Number 419 or squawk 0354. Southwest 1431, 5 miles from Kenty, cross Kenty at or above 2000, cleared ILS, runway 5 approach. Set the speed to 210. Exit 527, contact tower 120.7. Okay. You too. Now, I'm zero Delta Charlie, expect one zero thousand to be your final altitude, and I have a new routing for you as well. Advise ready to copy. Uh, white point on the uh, copy of the route, and where do you want for a direction flight? Right now, I'm just doing flight uh, two three zero. Now, we're four three zero Delta Traffic, Charlie. Traffic eleven o'clock. Hi, zero miles. That will be your final altitude. Wait a second. Now, number four one nine. Stand by.
Uh, zero thousand, zero thousand, Charlie. Clement, maintain one zero thousand. One zero thousand, zero thousand, Charlie. And uh, it, we got a TCAS alert, but it, I think it was an anomaly. Do you have anybody by us? No, zero Delta Charlie. No, I don't have anybody uh, near New Bedford at all. Yeah, it's not the first time I've seen it. So, okay, it's enough to wake you up, though. I'm for Hornet Jet four three zero Delta Charlie. Uh, so ten thousand, and um, I was expecting radar vectors. Do you, do you want to give me radar vectors or direct uh, Sandy Point? Now, is there a Delta Charlie? You're clear to the Farmingdale Airport via direct Calverton. That's Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Yes. Sector 46, Deer Park, direct. When able, proceed direct Calverton. So that was a gremlin that you saw. It said that there was a plane 1,200 feet below, yeah. above us, and then 100 feet below us, and with, within a now second. Now, we're 419, fly heading 100, vector to I've final. I've seen that before. It's just... An anomaly. It's scary, right? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Especially in the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it made no sense. But that's what. I just got to call her back and, and acknowledge the uh, route when she gets she's busy. Now, Mister Delta Charlie, could you go ahead with the readback now? Yes, ma'am. I'm just waiting for you to get a break. So, uh, ten thousand all the way uh, direct to Calvertin, and then uh, is it the parts three arrival after that? Now, Mister Delta Charlie, it's Victor forty six after Calvertin to Deer Park direct. Victor 46, Deer Park, direct zero Delta Charlie. Thank you. Now, right, zero Delta Charlie, read back is correct. Change my frequency, 119.45. 119.45. You know what? It's pretty clear up here. I think since I'm kind of stuck down low at 10,000 feet, I'm going to go back VFR flight following with you, if that's okay. Now, right, zero Delta Charlie, IFR cancellation is received. And what altitude did you want? I'll go to 16.5. I still will head direct Calverton. And um, what was the thing that you said just before that? Now, Zero Delta Charlie, your IFR uh, cancellation is received. Maintain VFR, and um, I'll have a hand up to the center with you in a moment. Thank you, Zero Delta Charlie. So There's zero no five. clouds. So rather than get the circuitous route, and they're, they're, they're limiting me down to 10,000, which is very inefficient, fuel burn speed-wise, uh, I said... And we're 4191 we'll to send to maintain 5,000. So just... They're handing you off to a different Delta control Charlie, now? Contact Boston Center, 128.75. 28.75 for 100 Jet 430 Delta Charlie. Thank you. Good night. Career track 390, contact Bradley, yes. approach 123.9 or 5. Yeah, that was the other thing she said. She was going to hand me up to a different controller. All right, let me call into them. Hello, Boston, 100 Jet 430 Delta Charlie. Uh, currently 12,500, going to 16,500 VFR, direct Calvinson. Uh, it's at 430 Delta Charlie, Boston Center. Good evening, the Providence Health Limited 3002. 3002, Delta Charlie, thank you. Okay, so we'll change. I'll explain things in a second. Okay, let me finish my checklist. Landing gear is up. Your dampener is on, it's engaged. Flaps are up. Press levers are MCT. Light guidance is good. Okay, pressurization is pressurizing. She was saying Calvatin and then Victor. I'd even write it down to Deer Park. Flight driver one sixteen thousand for fifty seven thirty one has a red head. Which was terrible, but the fact they were holding me down at ten thousand. Uh, um, uh, for no good reason. Sixteen thousand. Uh, uh, I don't know. So we I said seven thirty one contact. There's no clouds. Center one three five point eight. You can see all around us. Uh, three five eight. Break, uh, actually, uh, very clear. Uh, so, heck with it. I'll go uh, visual flight rules. Once I go visual, I can control my own route. But she's, I asked for a flight following, and that, that's what she said. She was going to give me a handoff, handoff to the next controller. So does that make sense? Or am I going too fast? It's, I oh, know yeah. it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot, but yeah, it makes sense. So, you know, in other words, instrument flight rules, they control the route, the altitude, and they're responsible for separation between planes. But on a clear night like this, <laughs> assuming the TCAS is working, uh, I've seen that anomaly before. And, and uh, but it, it does. Uh, all of a sudden, you see a, a plane here. You twenty-two fifty-nine contact Boston Center one two four point five two. Good. Polo power. Twenty-four fifty-two Joe with twenty-two fifty-nine power. Hello, Center Honda Jet four three zero Delta Charlie smooth at flight level. Uh, not flight level at uh, sixteen thousand five hundred. Uh, we're direct uh, Calvertin VFR. Number four three zero Delta Charlie Boston Center. The Kennedy altimeter is three zero zero three. Head to the report of a. Uh, Constant light about 10 miles east, your position at 16 by an Embraer, but that's it. Well, thanks for that heads up. We'll look. We'll, we'll be watching for that. Thank you. So, yeah, we just, instead of doing that, since they're keeping us, they were keeping us only at 10,000 IFR, 
which is kind of ridiculous for a jet, and they know it, but I don't know. I don't know why they were doing that. They usually don't do that. Um, and it's a clear night. I said, well, the heck with that. I can go visual. Now, the limit with visual flight rules, and you can see, we could probably see 50, maybe 100 miles as far as, far as lights. It's, it's really clear. The limit is you must be under 18,000. And then the limit, we're going west. Uh, it's even altitude plus 500. And by going east is odd altitude plus 500. So our maximum altitude any place in the United States, if you're proceeding west, west is defined as uh, 181 degrees to 360. In other words, that whole side of the compass um, is west. Um, is 16,500. If you're coming eastbound on that side of the compass, you can go up to 17,500. This way you make sure that you never encounter somewhere. Yeah, that's right. And very, wow, that was very astute of you. That's exactly it. And then if you're IFR, the IFR routes are, are different by 500 feet. So it's like west is even altitude, but not the plus 500. And same thing, east is the Odd altitude, but not the. At Calverton, so at automatically that gives you some separation from other planes. I'm going to preview that approach plate. Yeah, Smyrna. Do this approach. All right, Tower 610, it's going to maintain one So first, um, we make sure we'll get the right airport, right runway, right approach. So this is a route nav, GPS approach. And we're out like way over here. We're going to come here. We're going to come down over the south shore of Long Island to Smyrna, make a right, right, and come into Republic that way on a heading of 320. Very light winds. It's clear. Piece of cake. But I still set up the approach. I tell them I'm going to descend. Four four three zero. Delta, are you starting down soon? Just about to call you. You must be, uh, what do they call it, telepathy? Yes, for 100 Jet 430 Delta Charlie. Uh, how low can you let me go? 4,500 feet? Uh, you can, whatever you'd like, you can start down. Uh, uh, I'll have you over to approach here in a second. Well, I gotta go over uh, ice lip, so maybe 4,500 feet to start? Yeah, let's do that then, uh, uh, 430 Delta Charlie. Uh, that's approved as your question. Thank you, sir. Going down, zero Delta Charlie, thanks. All right, because you will pass close the airport of Islip, you want to make sure that you are... Well, I'll be passing right uh, over Islip's airspace, more or less. Now, they can give me permission to do that. Um, so, um, I set my speed to 250 on the descent. And you see this, is saying we're, we're way high. So, it is a short flight. So, I just, I just brought the power back to idle. We'll catch up with that. If I needed to go down faster, but not bring up speed, we have the speed break, which is awesome. But you see, good evening, we're going to intercept zero, Zulu, heavy that uh, vertical guidance. And then this will start to come up. Zulu, Boston, Center, Climb and Maintain, 5190. Climb and Maintain, 190, Longboat. So we're going to fly to the south shore and hook some right turns, is what's going to happen. Okay, and I can... You can actually appreciate how densely populated Long Island really is. Yeah. Listen to ATIS. You can listen to it too. Air 5731, maintain 250 now. And approach for zero Delta Charlie Air. After Calvinton, I'd like to head, head direct to Smyrna. 430 Delta Charlie, uh, that's approved. Thank you. 430 Delta Charlie, you can contact New York Approach now, 125.7, and just uh, let them know what your plan is. 25.7, we'll let them know. Have a great night, zero Delta Charlie. Hello, New York, Connie Jet 430 Delta Charlie, coming out at 7,000. Going down to 4,500 feet, uh, direct Smyrna. 430 Delta Charlie, New York Approach, Kennedy Altimeter 3006. 3006, zero Delta Charlie, thank you. 430 Delta Charlie, contact approach 120.05. 2005, zero Delta Charlie, thank you. Breakyard 5731, going to maintain 9,000. 9,000, Breakyard 5731. Hello, New York Cottage at 430 Delta Charlie, 6,100 feet for 4,500 feet, currently direct Smyrna. We're going to ask for the uh, RNAV 32 approach into Republic. We have the information. 430 Delta Charlie, New York, altimeter 3005. 3005. Can I get down lower than uh, 4500 feet? I know I'm cl crossing by uh, ice lift. Uh, yeah, you could. Zero Delta Charlie, descend at or above 2000. At or above 2000, thank you. 
Welcome. November 68 November, switch over to my frequency 125.97. 125.97. Right, slow up the speed to 200 knots. Guess we're going to be by eye slip out of respect for eye slip. Put some power back in. Pitch at 514, slave visual 24. RIFR. Read back all runway hold short instructions, runway assignments, and altitude assignments. Advise Puppet Tower on initial contact that you have information. Kilo. Kilo. Information Kilo. Republic Airport information, Kilo 2353 Zulu observation, wind 010 at 10, visibility 10. Sky clear, temperature 132.6, altimeter 3007. Visual approach and use, landing and departing runway 1. IFR departures advise ground control for taxi, you are IFR. Read back all runway hold short instructions, runway assignment. Now they're going to runway 1. Advise public tower on initial. I'm set for 3 2. I can switch. Hello, New York, Conjure Jet 430, Delta Charlie, 2,000 feet, requesting RNAV uh, 1 approach, starting with uh, Wulag into Republic with the information. 430, Delta Charlie, New York, approach, proceed direct Wulag, Kennedy altimeter 3006. 3006, direct Wulag, 0 Delta Charlie, thank you. I always like to thank them. That's okay. So the airport's off to the right. You can see the... 430, Delta Charlie, cleared into class, Bravo RC, Sierra direct Wulag, maintain 2,000. Cleared into the Bravo, direct Wulag, 2,000, 0 Delta Charlie, thank you. Landing. Got to reduce. Delta 434, turn right, heading 180, descend and maintain 8,000. Heading 180, down to 8,000, Delta 434. Okay, got my V-speeds accepted. Precarge 5731, contact first, 128.12. 5731, on the approach. Seatbelts, we are. Passengers have been briefed. Delta 1538, descend and maintain 1,000, Kennedy, Altimeter, 3006. Approach, briefing, I need order. And the next thing up will be collapsed. So you could see the Robert Moses there at the bridge. Yep. Pretty night, huh? Yeah, we could have done this visual, but I like using the approach. Hotel, 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 Hotel. It's a little bit longer, I got plenty of fuel, but it's also practice. 434, contact yep. approach, 128.1. Especially before I switched approaches very quickly. Fire 610 heavy, 10 left heading 23, you know, direction 250. I did dual fire. So we're you flying to Willock. Under 200 knots, so within, like, I can put down my first notch of flaps. When we're between Woolog and Bland, I'll put down a, my notch of flaps. And you'll get to see the autopilot do the approach. Approach, FedEx 764, Correctly. heavy, uh, flight level 190, get information off her. FedEx 764, heavy, near approach, part of LaGuardia, heading 140, Victor Island, runway 4, arch approach. in order to get in that direction, right? Yeah. FedEx, uh, so we're going to follow this. LaGuardia, so you, we're on this magenta and line, and the magenta line back. will be between here and there, and then there. And what's the reason for such... Wide boats. New York, November 780, Echo 3. Uh, when they're sequencing in a lot of planes, yeah, and they could do it from the other side too. So uh, if I if I brought up the chart, and I'll do that for you. Right, visual approach, runway 1. Heading 140, okay. vectors, visual 1, 780, Echo. 728, Papa Hotel, turn right, heading so 180. So that's the chart. Right turn, 180, 728, Papa Hotel. So it's only because we were coming from this direction, it looks like. 728, Papa Hotel, turn 2000. Down at 2000, Papa Hotel. 430 Delta Charlie, three miles from Bland, cross Bland at 2000, cleared RNAV GPS runway 1 approach, maintain VFR at all times. Maintain VFR, we are VFR, 2000 uh, until Bland, cleared for the approach, 0 Delta Charlie, thank you. Next 764, heavy descent and maintain 1 3000, Kennedy altimeter 3006. Next 764, Don't you like the speed at which they talk? We're not in Kansas anymore. Delta 1538, you want to find It's the big boys and girls. 610, heavy, 10 left heading 200. Okay, flaps are down. 200, heading 610. The next thing is landing here. So I have my checklist. You can see the approach plate. You can see it over here. You can see traffic. And I have tower standing by. Heading 140. Yeah, there's a lot of... It's like a party line. It's an organized party line. So it's going to turn in. It's going to anticipate the turn. Make a nice smooth turn. Just confirm you want this on I can hand fly it like I did before in the other approach. Or I can let the computer do it and monitor it. Thank you. Pretty straightforward, I mean. I know where the airport is. Echo, ready to see 180. Slow to 180, Echo. Rush, Delta 383, what's the... Where the red lights are? Delta 383, New York uh, approach. Part of LaGuardia, heading 140, Victor Island, runway 4, right approach. No, it'll Part be over there. heading 140, Victor Island, runway 4, right, Delta 383. If you look here, you can see it's going to be over there. 128.2, fine. No, not over there. CS 736, Center Main, 1,000, Kennedy, Altimeter 3006. Does that maintain 1, 3, 000, Next thing up is landing gear. Delta 1538, contact approach 128.12. 128.12, 128.12, Delta 
2812, Delta 1538. So smooth. You, you could feel like you're in your easy chair at yeah. home, right? It's amazingly smooth. Yeah. yeah. 736, Why? center maintain 13,000, Kennedy altimeter. All right, 300, now 300. the runway's in front of us. Those are the same. 13,000 feet, Kennedy 3006, which is center 6. Delta 383, descend and maintain 13,000, Kennedy altimeter 3006. Down to 13,000, Delta 383. Vertical the, uh, track. 430, Delta Charlie, contact Republic Tower, 1180. Over to Tower, good night. Zero, Delta Charlie. Okay, gears coming down. Echo, Going to Tower frequency. Okay, gears down. Next thing will be last notch of flaps. Bring my seat up. Hello, Republic. How did you 430, Delta Charlie, coming home. With the information on the uh, RNAV uh, 1 approach, uh, 2,000 feet. Panda Jeff 430, Delta Charlie, public tower, runway 1, clear to land. Clear to land, 1, 0, Delta Charlie, thank you. All right, next thing up will be uh, my last notch of flaps and maintaining my V speed, which was 112, which is marked here. So now you can see the VASIs on the light, those are called uh, on the left. Those are called VASIs, and I, I, I see two white, two red, so we're now lined up on the three-degree glide slope coming in. And I could go ahead and put my last notch of flaps in, get it off my checklist. Last notch coming down. It is. And now I'm just managing airspeed, and I'll be kicking off the autopilot. The last drink. So when you're single pilot in a jet, I used to hand fly my Meridian a lot. I still like to hand fly this. But they really, really, really want you to use the autopilot because it's, it's like a co-pilot. It's like another pilot. And it is good. The, the, the Garmin autopilot's unbelievable. I've had it in, like, pretty significant turbulence, and it doesn't let go. Where you would think that sometimes the pilot would say, uh, the autopilot would say, eh, I've had enough fun. It's your plane. <laughs> yeah. Your turn to fly. And we're going to slow it down here so you can see the two white, two red. Yeah. And I'll get my feet ready. And he's clear to land. And for giggles, I'll kick off the autopilot. Autopilot's now off, I'm hand flying. Up here. I went 112 over the numbers. Come up a little bit, power out. Up. Down. left. It's like a video game. Yeah. Sometimes it's best just to think of that. Alright, I'm playing a video game. Five hundred. <laughs> how many <laughs> how many crashes do you have left in your game? Uh I have I've never <laughs> ever crashed this video game, so maybe that's not a good analogy then, right? Okay. Coming into speed, right on glide slope. Down a bit, up a bit. Wins are up. Up. Thank you. Feels like you're just Gliding, right? Gathering, yeah. I got pulled back a little bit on the speed, come down. Minimums, minimums. So that's how close we could get if it was really like foggy. Okay, pull back on the Republic speed. Tower, November 780, Echo, okay, right Visual speed, 1, Park Henn, Republic West. Pull back on the speed. Nose up, nose up. Feels so slow. Echo, yeah. 780, Echo, Republic Tower, you said you got the GPS? Okay, gears down, gears down, final Negative check. Visual, uh, for one, Towers and out. Park Henn, Republic West. Land. And I did. That's so a thousand foot marker. Land, so Four thousand. And applying brakes. Not smoking them. Just nice, EV, easy. Three thousand. Thousand. the Jet Zero Delta Charlie. When able to park. Atlantic. All right, just turn left. Type Bravo Four. Taxi to Atlantic via Bravo. Cross runway one four. This frequency. Have the Jet Zero Delta Charlie. Okay, left here. Bravo Four. Cross runway one four. With with you to Atlantic Zero Delta Charlie. Thank you. Okay, that was good. So you see we have plenty of runway left, which is the idea. So if it was a crappy night, I would, you know, with like a lot of rain or something, I would be much firmer on the brakes. But that was good. That was good. He said, make a left there on Bravo 4, taxi down this taxiway. I can cross this other runway 3, 2, 1, 4. Stay with him on the freak. So you can see someone's coming in and landing. Just look left and right. So what'd you think? Amazing. 
Yeah. Really a fantastic experience. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Yeah, well, you're a very good passenger. Very calm, cool, and collected. Ooh, back here. Which airplanes are the most sophisticated jets? Gulfstream? Well, it depends. What makes them so... Like, this is really up there as far as sophistication, but now what you're talking about is... Um, you know, uh, as far as speed and max passengers and, and distance, I mean, you got, yeah, Gulfstreams, Falcons are very good. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, speed break is attracted. Landing flaps. One thing I, should, I always forget to do is on landing, when your wheels touch, you can put, that, put out the speed brake. It's supposed to help a little bit.